Howdy y'all around the wheel here. Moving into Jung Rock. Welcome to the Jung Rock. -na 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 -na. Okay, we got a mosquito with goggles on his head. That seems like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles reject villain. Okay, I think I was specifically thinking of Wingnut there. You know, like Wingnut and Screw Loose. Okay. I can't remember how to make yourself get better ups on these things. You have to hold up? Okay, there's a way... Okay. Because there, there's stuff up there. Well, I can shoot the lanterns off the wall. I guess that's more fun than, you know, getting items. Yeah, I'm thinking of Wingnut and Screw Loose. I think Screw Loose is the mosquito, actually. Wingnut is like a mutant bat. I know probably too much about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles minor villains for a nearly 40-year-old man. Okay, there we go. All right, I still have some fire shield left over from last time. Hey, how about that? Nice to... Mm. Okay, okay, we're gonna have to remember how this goes. Let's see. Now we're jumping over to here. We're not playing around. We're not getting in the pit. There we go. We're going here. I th think I just saw another shield above me. So let's take that. Okay, there was a snake and it spawned. And I think I killed it with my last, excuse me, last bit of fire shield. And then it died. I hiccuped some pizza there. Okay. Okay. This seems like a pretty chill jungle, all things considered. If it's just snakes and mosquitoes, I think we can deal. Anything on the ground that I need to know about? Any good power-ups? Any good prizes? Any good pro tips for me? Game Pro, I collected some more game magazines today, actually. Today being, you know, the day I'm recording this, which is way earlier than it actually goes up because Jazz Jackrabbit is a smooth running series. Runs smooth like blood up. But yeah, I bought some more game magazines today. I bought the January 1995 Game Pro, which has Earthworm Jim on the cover, and I found a super duper old Game Informer. Uh, even before they were publishing bi monthly, they were publishing seasonally. And it's uh, Spring 92. It has Master Higgins on the cover. Super Adventure Island had just come out. Not the, uh, not the coolest of games, not the most exciting game I've ever played, but. Man, that's like, that's got to be one of the first Game Informers. So, I'm pretty excited about that pickup. Can't wait to, can't wait to leaf through that. The pages look extremely yellowed and everything. Yeah, my, uh, my local used bookstore got a bunch of magazines here a while back. And I've just been picking them up a few at a time. Because they're like 10 or 8 bucks a piece. But, you know, when I've got some extra, when I've got some folded money... As they say in Oh Brother Art Thou, when I've got some folded money burning a hole in my pocket, I pick up some game magazines. They've got, I think they've got an EGM or two over there. Just classic stuff, pieces of game history. It gives me so much joy to rifle through those old game magazines because I, when I was a kid, I was considered obsessed with that stuff. And it was, it was thought of as very unhealthy, much like getting three mosquitoes to the base that look like little airplane pilots. Cute as that may be, it is not acceptable for our... Whoa, hey, ah! I think that was just a carrot anyway, so I don't I don't care it too much about that. <laughs> okay, okay, probably uh, I just had zero active viewers all of a sudden. Uh, everybody, I just had an exodus of subscribers for that joke but yeah i was not i was not trusted to rein in my habits as a child if, if rowdy can get a little can get a little on the personal side here real quick i was not i was not trusted to rein in my personal habits even though i was an a student all the way nothing in the wall there well then let's get out of here yeah, I was a straight-A student, little prodigy. I was in the gifted class and everything. But no, you play too many video games, Jess. Okay, YouTube is not therapy. Let's let's not let's not get down and dour here. Let's move on. Let's move into blind jumps. Finally, some rapid fire. Now I can just kind of hold things down and 
go with the flow here. What's the good side? We want to go... I have no idea what is a good drop and what is not. Okay. That, that was a decent drop. It looks like I want to go this way, maybe. Truly unknown. We're moving into unknown waters here. We're in a part of this level nobody has ever been in before. See? You think anybody's ever been up in this little rock alcove before? No, I am breaking new ground over here. 30 years this game has been out. And I'm always discovering new enemies that are not spawning properly all the time. That's just my job, you know? Video game explorer extraordinaire. I wish that was my job, good God. Not that I don't like teaching English, but <laughs> I do wish, do wish I got a little more money for video games. Maybe enough to pay a bill with. Patreon.com slash round the wheel. Help me pay a bill. Maybe even a significant one. Not like a, not like a student loan that I'll never pay off. Help me pay my electric bill. <laughs> Roundthewheel.com. Or no, patreon.com slash around the wheel. Help me. Help me. Help me pay my electric bill. It's pretty significant. After all, I live in Texas and I have to deal with ERCOT's bullshit. So you know how it is for me then. If you're if you're familiar with Texas, you know it's extra bad around here. No, I'm not gonna put my thermostat up on 35 or up on 95, Urcot. I'm never doing it. You're the billionaires that own the grid. You figure out how to make it work. Let's go. Let's go left. All signs seem to be pointing that way. Because they are. Alright. Boing, 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 boing. Let's go. Let's hit it. This could be the first world. This could be the first episode where we get all three bonus stages usually usually uh usually secret levels interfere with that somehow hey hi how you doing we love to see it some some invincibility let's not waste it i think we just wasted it yeah there was absolutely nothing over here that i would consider a valuable use of my well maybe some ammunition see the snakes the snakes just do not spawn very well Sometimes you see him, sometimes you don't. I think... I think it's possible to get up here. There might be like a one-up up here or something. Here we go. This is like getting over it before getting over it was a thing. There we go. Okay, up into here. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make it happen. I'm gonna make it happen, Captain. Boom! Yes! We got it. And if we die, we can come up here and do it again because it doesn't require any special springy shoes. Let's see what's over here. More invincibility. Very strange. Aha! Nice. Way up in what looks like the uppermost corner of the level. The upper leftermost corner of the level. All right, let's make a good run for it. Yeah, we're going to get to see level three of the bonus stages. Something I don't believe we've gotten to do yet. Okay, nothing special in there. I'm gonna try to run really fast until I find a carrot, but... Okay, this foliage is as technically impressive as it is. It's getting in the way of me seeing things. It's getting in the... The mosquitoes can't see anything. For some weird reason, they're all squinting. That's a... That's a stylistic choice. They are mosquitoes, right? They look like mosquitoes. Can I not get in here? Hey, there we go. That looked about right. What's in here? Some juicy goodies. Anything else? I think that may be it. Yep, can't do anything else in here. Just get some toasters. Toasters have been in weirdly low supply in this episode. Yeah, we don't just want to go charging down that hill. We don't want to keep running down that hill. I think you're supposed to keep running up that hill, not down that hill. All right, just lay down the cover fire and get to the end of the episode. That way we can fight against... What is the boss here? Is is this the one where, like, that weird... Where that weird hybrid of Zool and Sonic is the boss? Or is that one of the ABC episodes? Can't remember if that's one of the CD-ROM episodes or not. But there's a, 
There's a Zool Sonic crossover boss. Uh, named appropriately enough, Zunic. Okay, how how much rapid fire are you giving us here? A lot. Okay, okay, so there's still a pretty significant chunk of level to go through, but I think we can skip all of it and go down the hill. That's kind of what I care about. Okay. All right, full health. Very nice. It may be just be an extension of the same area, actually. Lots of springboards and going up. First floor lingerie, haberdashery, and something. I was trying to do, are you being served? Not to be confused with, are you getting served? Are you being served? Oh my gosh. One of the one of the Britcoms that they would play on PBS on Saturday nights when I was a teenager. Maybe maybe the gayest show I had ever watched up to that point. In the actual descriptively gay sense, like not using that pejoratively, like a lot of my friends did in middle school. Like, oh, that's so gay. Yeah, no, can't do that. Can't do that. No, it was literally like one of the like like Mr. Humphreys, gay icon. Am I right? That dude was so gay. That dude was gayer than a stack of strawberry pancakes. Okay, I'm getting spun around here. That's not that's not how we want to do it. Okay, yeah. Okay, so they're putting the gyms on the pads now. They're threatening us with some big bad exit signs. But we should still be able to do this in a timely fashion. We should have a lot of lives going to the boss. And how many how many times have we needed an extra life? for the boss so far a big fat zero this game is ju ah! see 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 that's why i backpedal that's why i do it because the one time you'll hit it and you'll get zapped straight out of the stage okay and some more time not that we need that but i'll take it i think i can find four gems in three minutes that's a that's a generous amount of time, I do believe. Okay, whatever is over here, they do not want us seeing it. This must be where they hide all their smut. We're going behind the curtain here, folks. We're going behind the velvet curtain, baby. What's over here? Aha, see? Just as I suspected. The pornographic diamonds. They're all back here. Right where they were hiding that one up, too. All right, bonus stage time. Guardian, who are we taking on? It's unknown. It's unknown until we see it. Okay. Uh, oh, it's that big wizard thing. That's right. Yeah, so Zunik is... Let's just switch to something massive like the toaster. And just sit here in this really safe spot. Let's get ridiculously on the offense. Wow, there we go. Yeah, almost took too many chances there. But you can just sit there and wait it out if you want. But that's not how we do. We get down to flashing life force. We go in there. We go heavy on the offense. All right. We've got Devan Shell on the run. Not to be confused with his brother Loveseek Shell. I always thought this was a cute little animation. Although Jazz's laughing face is very weird. The three natural planets are toast. Oh, that's what they had in common. There were no man-made structures on any of them, except a big giant temple. Presumably made by ancient turtles, Roundy takes the episode four crown. That means next time, I'm gonna be looking to usurp Tim. Episode five, see you guys next time.